So you've now added the EOR contract. And what's next is that you're going to want to pay the deposit that we had mentioned for the first month for the EOR. To make sure that we're going to be able to do that, we're going to have to add a payment method. So it's done pretty easily by going here to organization settings. And then you can see here billing and payments, or you can search up payments here. So we're going to view this. This is something important to explain and keep in mind of moving forward. We break down billing and payments into a few different buckets. So you see here, the first one is general funds. So if there was ever a case that deal needed to refund you for a certain amount, it would pop up here in the general funds typically for you to be able to withdraw. The prepaid billing credits is something that you can use to be able to pay EOR fees. It can't be used specifically for payroll. That's something important to note, but it can be used for things like the EOR management fee. And the deal granted credits, similar kind of thing. These are if a, re a refund needed to be made that you wanted to use for future payments moving forward, we could upload them here into our deal granted credits. So in terms of adding the payment method, we're gonna go up here, payment methods and automations. We can see here that I already have some enabled, but in this case, if it's your first time, you'll come up here, click add. You're gonna select the country that you'll be making the payment from. So in this case, we'll say United States. And here it's gonna give you the options for the US. So you have a few different options. You can use ACH, which is typically a very common one. You can use a credit or a debit card or Brex. Again, like I explained in the other video, this is a $5 payment method fee that is charged directly by the method that you're using. So this wouldn't necessarily be a deal charge, but more so, for example, it would be the ACH charge of processing the payment. And again, like I mentioned, it is a batch fee. So it's per payment that is made, meaning that it could be one EOR, 20 EORs, 30 EORs. If they're all paid at the same time through the same payment method, the fee will just be $5. So we'll go ahead and select ACH. Make sure that you're ensuring if you want automatic payments on or off. This is going to be important. Typically, automatic payments make things like avoiding late fees um, and any issues like that a lot easier. But if you'd like automatic payments off, just make sure you click this toggle. It's going to ask you if you're sure. You're going to click disable. Again, you can always click it back on if you need. But in this case, we're going to say we're going to disable it. Here, you're going to go down and select which groups are going to be associated with it. So because we made a group for John, who's in Canada, we were going to list this as CA group. That's the Canadian group that we made. This is just going to make sure that John is within the group that we want to pay. So we're going to scroll down, hit continue. And then it's just going to confirm some of the account details that you'll be able to see here. So once you confirm, you know, all the information with the specific account, where you, how you're going to be paying and everything, you're going to go to add payment method. It's not going to work on my end because I don't have an account that I'm plugging in right now, but this is essentially what you would select. The fourth step would be to select the group access. So again, you would make sure that the group that can access these payments is going to be the group in which the EOR is listed in which you had to decide in the creation of the contract. So if it's not clear exactly what group they're in, you can go back to the people tab and just make sure you check the contract again and it'll say it right there. 